Today we're going to be looking at ways that you can rig a grub. Grubs are great for wintertime fishing. Anytime you have a little pressured situation, you break the grubs out. They're a great little compact, uh, action-packed little plastic that you can get a lot of bites on. We're going to be using the Catchco swimming grub today. And I'm going to show you four different ways you can rig this thing up to catch fish. The first way we're going to look at is the Texas rig. This is a classic uh, rigging style. If you want to check out more Texas rigging tips, you can see some of the other videos from the Mystery Tackle Box channel. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the head of the bait. I'm going to take a, uh, this is a three-aught uh, little extra wide gap hook. And I'm going to rig it through the head of the, of the worm here. Gonna go through about a quarter inch. I'm gonna pull it. Then when I get to the, the head of the shank on the hook, I'm gonna twist it. And then I'm gonna push the hook point all the way through the plastic there. And then I'm gonna skin hook it right on top. And that three-aught hook works out perfectly for this, uh, this swimming grub. It hooks right in front of that little dorsal fin tail there. And I've got a uh, a little 3 16 ounce uh, tungsten bullet weight on there. So when I cast this out, I'm gonna, I can fish this totally weedless. I'm standing next to a pond right here, so this is gonna be a perfect little setup to fish around the, the shoreline, around all the little grass and little stumps in here, and I won't get hung up. Now I can reel this straight in, I can bounce it off the bottom, I can let it sit next to cover, that's often a good thing to do in the early spring or winter time when the bass are a little bit more lethargic and you just let that tail do the work for you. Now the second way we're going to rig this is on a jig head. Now this is a very traditional style, but it works. It's great for more open water situations. So if you've got a rocky bottom, more uh, clear water, less vegetation and stumps and things like that, this might be a better option for you. It's a lot easier to get the hook set into the fish as well. So you just want to go right through the center little ways then come straight out the top push it all the way up there onto the hook keeper make sure it's nice and straight on top and then you've got a uh, open hook setup so this would be great you could you could swim it uh, for suspended fish you could bounce it along the bottom but just be uh, mindful that that open exposed hook will get you hung up a lot more so easier to hook the fish also easier to get hung up now let's say you're seeing fish up on the bank or really shallow around some cover, uh, grass, wood, things like that. It's harder to get that Texas rig through there. Uh, you're really not gonna get that jig head through there with that exposed hook. That's when throwing these little belly weighted hooks are just tremendous. And with this catch hook grub, it's, it's different than your traditional grub. It's got a longer tail on it. It's a little bit easier to slim. It's more uh, swim. It's more of a shad profile on it. And these have hook keepers on the front of it, twist lock hook keepers. So you just want to take that and turn it through the nose of the plastic bait there. Just twist that right on and then rig it just like you would the Texas rig straight out the top and just skin hook it right on top like that. And then that's going to give this a, a different action than the Texas rig. It's not going to go nose down. That belly weighted, uh, that belly weight right in the center of the hook is going to allow that to sink a little bit differently, more like a natural shad dying. And it also helps it sit better in the water. So when it's swimming, it gives it a little bit of body shake. It just presents a better swimming profile. This is what you want to use this type of hook for. So then I can throw this right up onto the bank, swim it through anything I want to swim it through, and let it fall a little bit after I get out off the bank and uh, give it that nice fall action. And it's a, a better presentation for that situation. Now, a lot of people use grubs as spinnerbait trailers, and they're great because you rig them tail down, they add a little bit more thump to the spinnerbait, bigger profile, little extra action on the end for the fish to come grab it. They're great for hiding trailer hooks, but this, this grub is a little bit longer, and you could use it on a spinnerbait, and it'd give you a little uh, extra action on the end, or you could actually put it on a chatterbait as well. And I'm going to show you how to rig that. So when I'm rigging up chatterbaits with 
swimming trailers. I like to trim back the skirt just a little bit. I've already done that on this one. I'll take a little bit off the head of the Ketchco swimming grub and just bite that off. And then you just wanna rig that straight on, just like you would the jig head, right onto the chatterbait. Come straight out the top. Make sure you wanna rig it with the, uh, the tail down, the tail downward. But not only is this going to swim in the water in the back, it's also going to shake with the chatterbait uh, vibrating action. So this adds a, a ton of action to your chatterbait and it's a different look than traditional chatterbait trailers. So those are just a few ways you can rig grubs. You can really get creative and do a lot of other techniques with grubs and especially this Ketchco grub. It's, it's different, it's got a longer tail to it. It's got a lot of action to it. So get creative, go have fun and catch some fish.